information tonight on a story that we first brought you last night on 2 News. Tulsa police have still not found the gun that they say an 11 year old boy used to shoot his grandmother in the head. Officers say he got the gun from her bedroom drawer. 2 News reporter Will Dupree is live after speaking to neighbors about the boy. Will? Well, the shooting happened here at the Ridgemont Apartments behind me, and a neighbor told me today that the 11 year old is a good kid and her son's best friend. She says it just doesn't seem possible that the boy she's known all these years could have harmed his grandmother. Before police and paramedics surrounded her neighbor's apartment last night, Catherine Schrader says she never heard any gunshots, but did hear a woman yell. I heard the mother screaming, uh, you shot me, you shot me, over and over again. She then heard the voice of the 11-year-old boy, whom she says is her own son's best friend, respond. And I heard uh, her son saying, I, I didn't do that, I wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? I, I love you, Mom. Uh, mommy, I love you. I couldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I just, I love you, Mommy. The screaming seemed like a joke to Catherine, but then all the police started to show up. They uh, got her on the steps. They uh, told me to step back, and I saw blood coming from the back of her head. Catherine saw police handcuff the 11 year old, too. She had no idea until this morning that the boy who often helps her carry in her groceries was taken into custody for a complaint of shooting with intent to kill. I know it was an accident because I know the kids. It wasn't intent to kill. It wasn't. I will never believe that. Well, the grandmother and her family just got back to the apartments a few moments ago. We tried to talk to them but she said she was just feeling a little too unwell right now to do an interview. Now the DA's office says it has not gotten any information on this case yet, so no formal charges have been filed against the 11 year old. Uh, Tulsa police will not release his name and have not told us if he's still in their custody. Live from South Tulsa, Will Dupree, Tunis works for you.